Welcome back. Hi. Well, we're doing the timer thing too. So it works out pretty well. Woohoo. Okay. This is, I think this will be our last one. Boca. Timing purposes. And um, back to Zerus conversation, I guess, with the lantern. The more and more sentient lantern. You're actually talking to your lantern out loud. No. No, this is all happening internally, kind of like yours. So he's like staring at his lantern, essentially. Focusing yeah. and staring into my lantern. Yeah. Do we notice him doing that? I would imagine. Yes. <laughs> I would, I would definitely imagine that. <laughs> uh, Sam is yeah. talking to William. Green Lantern's light. <laughs> <laughs> I need a ring! <laughs> I have a ring. I don't think that one will help. I'm trying to think of what I want to do with this I have conversation. A black ring too. Um, it begins to tell you oh, how it works, I guess. Kind of to like teach you how to just, activate, command yeah, it, hold just, it over the... Right. Dead thing and do what I have yeah. to do. It begins to teach you the processes of. Like, you're not quite so, there yet. Uh, one, it doesn't group. spend a huge amount of time because you need. Basically, what I want with that one time character. Um, but you are beginning to learn from the lantern on how to. Activate it. How to use it. Okay. Yeah. So I could probably use it to speak with dead, but I probably can't animate anything. No. Okay, so no. I've got the first stage down. Yep. Yay! Yep. You do make it to the door. It has the four rings on it. Now, <laughs> there, there's no sound that comes from, from that. It's just... Uh, not three times. Not three times the one he answers, Sandy Claus will be no more. What? Kid, not the Sandy Claus. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm calling for Doctor Who reference, but that works too. Huh? All right, no. so everyone, I guess, is going to put their rings into the door. Nakamura mm -hmm. versus Jerry. Air, <laughs> earth, <laughs> earth, no, ice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Air, earth, ice, wind, fire, heart, dark, dark. Are you putting the rings in the door? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, <laughs> it starts to glow. As magic things tend to do in my world. <laughs> and you see that the rings themselves <coughs> begin to glow their, their respective colors. And then the door, the way that it's positioned is you have essentially two, two rings that are on the same level. So you have like one, two, three, four. Like a four spot. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like the, like the four pips on a, on a six-sided die. And the door splits in half and opens down the middle. And it, and it of course opens inward. And from that, when like looking down into the hallway, first and foremost, a blast of cold air hits you. And you can hear the uh, hollow whistling sound of wind rushing through loose stones to reach you. Despite the chill air, the acrid smell of charcoal fills your nostrils. The fine black and white marble tiles from previous rooms are not evident here. Instead, the walls and floor are of scorched and blackened stone. You can see the corridor turns to the right after... About 30 feet that far. or so. <laughs> yeah. And once the door is cool, open, nice, yeah. the rings actually you just um, found that by uh, come I come loose. Bobby, Homer, okay. Okay. And like kind of fall to the ground, so you can gather them back up if you so choose. I gather the rings. Yeah, I, I wanted to, I want to take back the air one just because I've been carrying that. I'll be like, yeah, I'll take this. Oh, by the way. Uh, whenever everyone wakes up, you notice that Rand's eyes are solid black. 
Yeah, we we went through we that went through that when I woke oh, up and noticed his scar, and I'm like, "What happened to your face?" He shows me in the mirror, and I freaked the fuck oh, out. Oh god! Yeah, we already did. We already did that. Oh, role I didn't play. realize that that was what you were doing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we did yeah. the role play already. Got it. Traveler's kit, yeah. pocket huh. mirror. Pocket mirror is super useful. I'm Actually. hearing whispers, seeing scars. It's mirror shed too much light. What? Mirror shed too much light. <laughs> Gather up the rings, and uh, there's there's not really anything in the hallway. Can I have my red ring back. Is the hallway yeah. lit or? Hallway is not lit. Um, or rather, do you know anymore. what? Maybe. It's lit by your lantern. Assuming you're still doing the lantern flight thing. Yeah, my lantern can remain lit as yeah. long as necessary. There is a little bit of, of light in here, but it's hard to tell where it's coming from. Okay. Rand, is Rand and Bark are taking point as they move slowly through there. I just realized they could use the If his eyes are going to be like that, does that give him dark vision? What? Pitch Rand, me. he's the only one who can't see. I've been casting... Would that give him access vision, to like dark the, vision? A spell for roll. this will be interesting. I was thinking of that, yeah, but I didn't want to ask that. Have just on to... his body? Seventy. That's good. Yeah, we'll see you have dark vision. Yeah, okay. dark vision. I have it again. Now I can change that spell back <laughs> because I have devil sight. So I, I'm, I'm confused. It's like you, you yeah. all might be talking about it being dark, and I'm like. Uh, it looks normal. I don't even. Yeah, I didn't even need to cast my spell, guys. Yeah, no. dude. I um. Brad, actually, with all of us too. We all have. Actually, my lantern would draw attention. I turn it off. Because we can all see in the dark now. I don't need to help him. Hi, William. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true now. I named your lantern William, by the way. Thank you. Okay, so. <laughs> all right, William. Rand, let's go. Rand and Bark are taking point, searching okay in front of them as I get. Are we going through the? I'm guessing. I would imagine. Yeah. So, yeah. So like you're, you're up front. Yep. He, he's oh. bark sniffing. I'm looking. All right. Oh, I'm barbarian. And, uh, and Jeremy will be back next session, so he can train me in the barber ways. So you can. Yeah, uh, cut hair too. You can <laughs> see two <laughs> kind like of doorways. Is that labeled at all? Uh, two, five. two, three. Two, three. Or three. Dark vision. Two, 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 three. Hey, are you guys coming? Nah. No. Those those are not doors. They're just like openings. Like like just move us up there. Are right? they yeah. carved or they are carved. Okay. Yeah. So they're purposeful openings. Okay. Yeah. Then I just I peek into two two over there. Two two. Two two. Two two. Thank Mr. Skill. All right, everybody's up. All right. Uh, give me perception check, please. Perception. Everybody. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Fourteen. Seventeen. Why wow, did I really? I was whistling. What? I rolled a nine on my ring and my. And you die. <laughs> hey, rolled better than me. All right. Um, I was staring at the ceiling. Time. So I rolled a nine. Nine. Because I don't have... A Seventeen. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Got it, got it. So, uh, Rand, and I would imagine that you kind of relay this... Yeah. ...to the, uh, other folks. There's, there's two doorways, right? And then, at the very far end, there's, a, a like a wall sconce. That has no torch in it. All right. I'm really glad. That's into the hall or, in, or I into thought the. Thought that's what a sconce was, but I wasn't gonna yeah, ask what is. a sconce was. <laughs> <I'll tell you laughs> it's, it's a thing. It's a pastry it's got a blueberries in it. Uh, <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah. so is that in the room or is that a little tin or at the end of the hallway? That is. Um, you can kind of see it in the little. Route this music makes it feel like we're about to play okay. something as a joker. Surround where that bend is, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's in two two. No, that's, no, that's in the bend of the hallway. I'm find the hallway with Bendis. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's in the rooms? Well, like I said, I peek two, into two two. two. Yeah. 
There are um, no furnishings in this room. There's only the cracked and smashed remains of the fine marble tiles piled here and there on the floor. Fine marble. And it's um, it's pretty badly cracked and smashed. There are piles of um, piles of marble oh, tiles and stuff, and you hear tiles, tiles. from the tile piles <laughs> some like unnatural um, moans. Are we walking into a corner. It's not not that kind of moans. <laughs> Mom never Are they go moving at all? Uh, yes, actually. So you can see it's not anything like the tiles themselves are alive. But there's some, it looks like there's some but shifting there are under it. some things that are trapped under some of the piles and kind of moving about. They're like really old dried up looking zombies. But they're they're not able to move or anything, they're just in there. Okay. And they're chilling. Uh, these are zombies. We should probably just I don't trust leaving things behind us. That's fair. Yeah. So I, I mean I'll Rand, look forward to the nearest pile, kneel down. And just stare at it. Rand walks up to like the other ones and just starts like Driving, you know, like Walking Dead style, just driving right. his daggers through their eyes, and just okay, shink, shink, and then searching around just to see if he finds anything else. Yeah, there's, there's not. You find all the things, maybe like ten silver. Okay, so nothing really. Um, nothing of any sort of immense value. Okay, well, and then he goes and checks two, three, two, three. Yeah, his peeks in the door. Again. Okay. So this room is uh, this is a relatively comfortable room, warm but still usable stuffed chairs and benches sit arranged around the well-lit room, and a well-maintained pile of charcoal lies in the northeast corner. <laughs> Figures in heavy robes sit across from each other with books in their laps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, they look up as you enter the room. I, I, I he peeks around the corner. Oh. I did not enter. I they peeked. don't look up then. <laughs> but you can uh, notice that as they speak with each other... Do I understand? Um, spumes of mist escape their mouths. I back up and I just tell everybody what I just saw. Hey, babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys vape, so uh, someone else go in there first, maybe. Bro, we get it, you vape. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you still want us in the halfling first? I'll go in. <laughs> I'm still looking at my new friend. I said just kick me in. Hey, but Zara's going in, stepping into the room, I guess. Well, yeah. Okay. That's my job. Now oh, that you scoped it out, I march in. Yeah, uh, could you move True. him? Okay. Yep. I'm still right there by the doorway, That's though. Kathunk. As you step in, <laughs> now, <laughs> I do look up and see you kind of walk in. They don't. Like, Here? <laughs> they're not aggressive to you or anything. They just look over at you and then go back to reading their books. Greetings, friends! <laughs> I am your shield. <laughs> I am your shield. I'm aware. <laughs> uh, as as you like, they have no reaction. They give no reaction they to my. They give no reaction to your call out. Um, as like, do you approach them? I tell them. Well, I say in character. Why not? We mean you no harm. We will pass through without any conflict. <clears throat> and I start walking toward the... Is there another door in the room? There's a hole right here. There is, kind of, yeah. I start walking in that direction. Alright. 
Um, as you get close to them, them that's, their they, oh, that's true. <laughs> you hear, uh, like, it's almost imperceptible at first. But as you get closer to them, you can hear them kind of muttering. To uh, give me a perception, or you know what? Let's make it Arcana. Twenty total. Twenty. Okay. What are they speaking in? They're speaking in the arcane, like spellcasting language. What? Um, <laughs> I mean, I can hear it too. Yes. Knuckle. Anyone that gets that goes into the room and gets close enough can hear the mother. I was gonna say random. But it doesn't. It, it it doesn't really seem like it's not hostile magic that you can tell. It's a it's a ritual of some kind. So I can't decipher what the spell is. No. Just that it is a spell. It is a spell, and it looks like they've been doing that for a while. So it's. Hmm. Well, Rain starts looking around the room since these guys don't seem to be okay. looking at they us at all. They are maintaining a spell of some kind. Again, he peeks over their shoulders at some points, looks down at the books. Mm -hmm. they're reading. Is Leah's up? Sure. You can't read. Yeah, I didn't figure. It. Like the text in the book is, uh, it, it glows a little bit, like. Like, like, as in there's a little bit of Artec in the ink that was used to write it. Yeah. Um, but the symbols and sigils and, every, and like the stuff that's in it, you have no clue what it's about. What? I pull out my dagger and I step back and I just kind of poke at the book under its fa under these guys' fingers and try to move it. Do they react at all? One of them? I don't, like... I just kind of. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Are you in the room now? Yeah, I moved into the room. I'm kind of looking around now that these guys aren't moving or talking All to right. us. Or... Okay. So, what are you doing with? So, like, you're trying. I'm to just kind of. Yeah. Book? I'm just like. You're not like stabbing the paint. No, in. I'm just kind of like <clears throat> scooting it around and stepping back and like. I don't. I don't even know. Are these guys alive? Like, what the fuck's going okay. on here? Uh, when. Okay. So like you use your dagger. I just barely kind of, scoot it, just barely. You just like barely move the book. Yeah. It raises its arms and just moves it back to where it was. And it just constantly keeps going. going. And then like eventually you're like turning the page. Uh, as I kinda and, want one of these. And guys. one thing that you no. notice is that they all turn the page at the exact same time. I, I, I kinda want like one of these. On no. Okay, come on. No. One. Is there anything? No. <laughs> oh my god. This Ran is... size, and then he looks more about the room. Is there anything else of interest other than these figures? Okay. Southern wall, which is the other opening, uh, has broken open, revealing an uneven rock ramp that leads... Uh, around two, two, four. What about that sconce? Should we put something in it? The rest of the room is in surprisingly good shape. Evidently, the black and white marble decoration of the walls and the floor has been at least partially repaired and replaced over the past few years. Uh, <clears throat> this room is filled with uh, comfortable chairs, blah, blah, blah. We already talked about that. Um, the just so that you guys know this, the pile of charcoal in the northeast corner would last about five or six days with constant use. It's a pretty big pile of charcoal. There is a bookshelf. <coughs> I don't want it. There's a bookshelf closest to. Uh, let me move this guy over here. Close to this wall. Over here. And it has a lot of really strange old books. What kinds? Um, most of it's in Gnomish. Okay, so I can't so read the titles or anything. You can't really read any of the titles. Um, a few of the books have even the like binding text glows slightly. So, like, there are some books here that you would imagine would be worth quite a bit. 
I grab three random books and just stuff them in my travel sack. Okay. I can't read three of the glowing books. Um, I can't read them. Give me. Oh God. Give me percentile dice. Ninety-four. Five. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. Three three gnome books and ninety-four percent abstract. That is that's a damn fine roll you got there, bro. <laughs> you needed a black ass singer. <laughs> Don't damage them. <clears throat> I was talking to Dave. I know. Not not cracking the nuts. Anything else? In the I mean, after that I'm done in the room. I mean if there's nothing else of interest. I'm, I'm talking to my new friend. <laughs> He's still yeah. over 2-2 two, two, talking to a zombie. Soren is still in 2-2. <laughs> two, two. Like, like, are you actually, like, talking to it? She's just sitting down there. Just. I mean, it's clearly not responding. But... <laughs> right. Can I see her thing? What? My thing. This? Yeah. I want to read stuff. <laughs> Does it make so you... I was going to wait to get home and read it. Yeah, I'm going to have to check this out. Crazy. Well, okay, Tim. I have to leave now. And I take out my new dagger. It and slowly slide it into his throat and into his skull in the body. And as I do, I kind of moan in a happy way. Uh, uh, <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I gotcha. <laughs> you have to say goodbye like they do. <laughs> I, I, this is interesting. I like the way that Soren's going. <laughs> we'll see how that plays out. Okay. You make your way... Presumably, because there's really nothing else left in this room. Does anyone else want to grab some gnome books? Nah. What else is in that room? Uh, just like really nice chairs. And is there anything at all? Grab one of those books, books from the guy. It's pretty much just books. Poke one of the guys. Poke one of the guys. I'll poke you. I really want some. Are there any poke like the books that stand out? Can I roll like perception? See yeah. Anything that stand out? You can't read gnome though. Can't I know I can't, but. I doesn't hurt to look. Thirteen. Not huh. enough to see one stand out. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, right. Well, there's not really necessarily any that specifically stand out, but there are a few left that have the glowy text. I go to the third bookshelf and take the <laughs> first book <laughs> off of the fifth row. Okay. <laughs> give me give me percentile dice. And as I do, I say, Use Thank the you, gentlemen. I'll bring them back and treat them right. Here's the thing. <laughs> 95. 95. Oh, shit. God damn. Make a note of that. Oh, shit. What up? That's good. So there are some tomes on the wall, and they aren't reacting at all when we take them? I appreciate it. I don't have my library card, though. <laughs> They, Please forgive me this time. They do Bye. not. <laughs> they do not respond at all. They're just keeping on muttering. So I frown a bit, but curiously, I walk yes, over and I take one of the books. <laughs> okay. Um, just completely at random. Watch you get like a two percent. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fucking book of algebra. Eh. Forty-two. Forty-two. All right. Forty-two. Yes. 42. Meaning of life, man. 42. No, I didn't. <laughs> Meaning of life, the universe, and everything? Yeah. Last one. Okay, give me Write a it down. I guess I'll take two books. Okay. Doesn't matter which books I take. Yeah, we're all just grabbing random stuff Is off the wall. Is that still empty? Uh, yes. I'm gonna light a torch over there. Okay. 62. 62? 62. Yes. 62. And you take two books? Two books. Cool. All right. All right. Um, actually, I need to roll for Leas. Leas is going to take some books as well. <laughs> okay. How did he roll? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> he got the first one. Alright, give me the thing. Or it's a mimic. Uh, Everything's it's a mimic. In that second paragraph down there. Yeah. Have we ran into a everything. mimic at all? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Not yet. I don't think you guys have yet. I'd give it to I Fate remember. has, I know. They ran into a room full of chests, and most of them were in there. <laughs> All right, then. Well, this is going to be fun. All right. So you light the torch, put it into the sconce, and uh, a line in the kind of scorched wall that you didn't notice there before is at the perfect height, 
and it's like lit by the torch and lights along the, the uh, ramp passageway. So it's like a, a it's now a, a, a lighted or lit area. Huh. We're gonna go a little bit longer because we gotta get to the next stage here. Look like everyone, I drew a line. <laughs> As you go to the ramp, and the ramp goes up, by the way, the ramp goes up and leads to Power two, Rangers. four. Two four. The light that is now in this area from the um, torch sconce trick reveals ruined bits of stone and painted bits of murals on the walls and ceiling. Rubble covers the floor, and an, an, an empty apse at one end holds the remains of a stone altar. Tim would have liked it here. Now, the murals on the wall depict a few very interesting things. And one of them that I, that would be the most relevant to you guys is it shows this white orb and then it kind of you know like the next panel and like the white orb has all these runes on it and then the next I guess panel of the mural has it being split into seven pieces it's, it's the... It's the tear. <laughs> it's the Pearl of Abba. Pearl, not Tear of Abba. Yeah. The Pearl of Abba. I have one of those. Yeah. <laughs> you have part of it, yes. You do, you do. And then... Too shiny for my liking. <laughs> the... Um, the third one... The third panel is... That the... Each, each piece was given to a member of a different race and then uh, of course in the next tile it shows them going across the map of Arton. It, it like shows shows you know larger people on a kind of small map and it shows them going their separate ways across the realm. And then the final one shows the gnome who who got one of the pieces. And it shows him in a room that looks very much like the one you're in. And he's 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 kind of holding up the orb piece. And it's it's still mostly round. Maybe like a, a a small piece of it missing. And within that piece, there is a lever. Like in the picture, or there's an actual lever. There's an actual okay. lever. <laughs> Move everyone to two four. I'm gonna let you guys take this. And the last time I went in a room with a lever, it didn't go so well for me. <laughs> should have followed directions. You didn't <clears throat> say anything. You should have followed directions. Red before the purple. But there was no purple. So, is anyone going to do anything here? Are we going to make I'm the half? Actually kinda, I'm, I'm actually kind of walk, observing him for a moment. I was a bit nervous. You've been talking to zombies and talking to yourself. Well, you see, I actually talk to the souls. He's just talking to a dead man. <laughs> He's talking to me. <laughs> see, that's, that's the problem. <laughs> meet the meat. I know what I'm doing. But you speak to William all the time. Who's William? Sora. He's the shiny on your belt. Did Sora get cracked in the head when I was asleep? Sort of. Kind of, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. 
I'm a tad worried. He's gonna say history. Mm -hmm. I've seen some shit. <laughs> are, are you hearing any? Um, I'm not going to respond. Voices? You know you want to. Okay. Around. Only yours. You know you, you want to pull that lever. Okay. I do want to pull the lever. Pull it's the lever, crunk. <laughs> While they're talking to each other, I may change and pull the lever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He used Mei Chen because he couldn't reach him. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Okay. I step back suddenly hearing the click. It's, it's too late. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. When you pull the lever, the floor. Oh, God. <laughs> the whole 2 4 area, kind of down the middle, kind of like cracks down. And on onto the slide. I want to use a reaction to use my move for rod and hold on to it. Okay. I was about to say, can I try a dex thing to not fall and Oh wait, no, never mind. There's a, you said it's fall. a ramp? It's a slide. Or a slide? I just put my feet down <laughs> and stay where I am. <laughs> I have slider okay. boots. <laughs> no, it's slick. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I want to try to jump back, but I don't know if that's even possible since you said, like, the whole floor. All right, so you're on the immovable rod. I'm sliding. You're sliding. Zero's probably sliding. Yeah, I'm sliding. I'm too heavy. Uh, Leas is sliding. Rand. No, Tell like, me what's you're, at the bottom. You're the, you're the only one who's still up there. Okay. You all slide. And, and, and you slide for a little while. Yeah. Like, it's... And it's... it's Whee! It's always down, of course. And Except for the one time we did the loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> you get, I would say, about 500 feet down. Jeez. And <clears throat> you all are launched out. It's not like a painful landing, but you kind of all landed in a, in a heap together. I let go. I turn the rod off. <laughs> And the first thing that you notice before... Catch me, William. Before anything else uh, takes place mm -hmm. is that... And this was actually noticeable on the way down. The muttery chanting that you heard from upstairs... Yeah. ...is getting louder as you slide down. When you get to the bottom, oh, gotcha. you see... Oh, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. And a, 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 a big, like a, a very wide expanse of area, and there's people in uh, in these like crimson robes that are surrounding this enormous magic circle. And they're just, and they're all chanting in unison, and the magic circle is glowing <laughs> very, very brightly, <laughs> and there's a creature standing within it. What's in the round box? That we will get to next, next time. time. Ah! <laughs> so. Hooked on a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining the yakety sax playing as we're going down the slide. <laughs> well, well, this was very interesting. Well done, well done. We, uh, of course, will be back hopefully Eventually. in a couple weeks. Probably not a couple weeks, probably. Uh, back I don't know when I'll even get this uploaded, but, but alas. Yeah. Yes. For us in the room, it's probably be a couple weeks after film. Fair enough, fair enough. We will do oh, yeah, something to July actually. next Chaos Day. Sounds good. Board games or like Lord's of Water. Game. There will be events of some kind. Anyway. Later. When, when would you like to do this? Just.